We're excited you'll be joining our inaugural Virtual Preceptors Conference on September 24th and 25th, 2020. Before the event, let us take off our masks and share who we are beyond the masks and the resumes with these personal introductions. I am Charlie Angel and I am from Hoover, Alabama. It is most recognizable for our TV show about 15 years ago called Two A Days that featured our high school team. So my proudest moment in healthcare is that I'm a trained script technician and serving as part of that team has kind of inspired my current degree track and led me through this pathway to where I am today. My favorite family tradition is that every Thanksgiving we gather together and make about 1,300 raviolis in one night. Uh, it's very team oriented and very cousin and aunt and uncle and my parents driven and been a ton of fun and really kind of brings me back to this whole team setting, almost feeling like a family in this relationship building aspect that I like to have. If I had to pick a job outside of healthcare, I think I would move to Key West and be a scuba instructor. Going on dives can be so very meticulous and precise and there's a lot of precautions that go into it, but once you actually go on the dive itself, you can experience so many new things in such a short period of time. My name is Sam Bailey and I'm from Fairhope, Alabama, a small town near the coast. I believe what qualifies me as a unique candidate is the unique combination of both uh, performance-driven, strong attention to detail and also a deep compassion for the local community members of Birmingham. Uh, I believe these are demonstrated with a performance improvement engineering background um, and also my involvement with the international community uh, here at UAB. Although this might be wishful thinking because he's very popular, I like to think that I best relate to Jim Halpert, the fictional character from the television series The Office. Uh, Jim easily earns the respect of his coworkers. Um, he listens well. Um, he also does not let work come at the expense of having fun. Um, and at the end of the day, uh, the coworkers want to follow Jim and Jim doesn't feel like he needs to be the loudest voice in the room. If I were hosting a late night talk show, my first guest would be Tom Hanks. Uh, not only because I'm a huge fan and a lot of his work, such as Castaway and Saving Private Ryan, but also uh, just his simple ability to really create a following uh, off the camera um, with his his, his unwavering dedication to uh, really his family, his faith, um, and really the things he holds dear, uh, but also because he's a great actor. Hi, my name is McKenna Boyd. I'm from Tuskegee, Alabama. My proudest moment since I've been in both of these programs has just been getting through that first year um, of the dual degree, uh, that curriculum. Uh, again, there's, uh, you know, it's, it's, they're both rigorous programs uh, with the health informatics and the on top of the uh, health administration um, it has been very difficult that first year but uh, it's something that I made through and have uh, continued to pursue. If I wasn't working in healthcare, uh, I probably would have continued to play sports. Uh, I played sports in high school as well as uh, a little bit in college and so that's something that you know if, if I wasn't in healthcare, uh, I would probably continue to pursue as I still uh, go to the gym regularly and uh, participate in sports like activities. I am Erica Briggs White from the Gate City, Greensboro, North Carolina. I believe the thing that makes me unique is my ability to navigate through difficult situations. I pride myself on being positive by any means and being able to help bring people up with me. If I hosted a late night talk show, I would bring my favorite author, John Maxwell. I have read many of his books and I love his philosophy on life as well as how important his faith is to him. If I could have any job outside of healthcare, I would have chosen to be an architect. I love being able to be creative and taking my talents to help people's visions come to life. I'm Curry Cates and I'm from Oxford, Alabama, which is just down I-20 right between Birmingham and Atlanta. My greatest accomplishment in healthcare to this point was the authoring of a certificate of need for one of Alabama's three level one trauma centers. And I share this experience because it really ties back to some of my underlying interests for expanding access to underserved populations. If I was a talk show host and I could bring anyone dead or alive onto my show, I think I would bring Steve Irwin on. Um, that's someone that I really aspired to be growing up. I think I was him for Halloween around five years straight. But on a more serious note, his dedication to conservationism and his zoo and his family really spoke to me as a young child. Uh, and I think I've carried some of those traits on with me as I've grown. If I could have any job outside of healthcare, I think I would be a singer in a Broadway play. I come from a very musical family, so that's something that we always cherish watching together. I was actually supposed to see Hamilton in April in Atlanta, but unfortunately COVID altered that plan, but I do plan to see it one day. My name is Demisha Crowley, and I was born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia. 
My proudest moment in healthcare was doing undergrad where I spearheaded a book scholarship to support young women of color who were pursuing their degrees in either STEM or healthcare. Diversity and inclusion is really important to me and it felt great really being able to support these women in their endeavors and to also acknowledge their hard work. My favorite holiday is now Christmas and I say that because my family has started a new tradition where we all come together and have a big slumber party on Christmas Eve um, in our pajamas at my grandmother's house and it's just a really fun time and beautiful time where we just put our phones away in a box and enjoy quality time with one another. If I can take on any job outside of healthcare, I will probably be a freelance artist. I always enjoyed arts and craft as a kid, and even now, painting and creating little pieces of art, whether it's to hang in my room or to give as a gift to someone, is very soothing and fun for me. I'm Alberto Cruz, and I'm from the small farm town of Mattawa, Washington. Mattawa is located in central Washington in the beautiful Columbia Basin. My favorite moment in healthcare came this last summer. I oversaw the PPE department at Los Robles Health System. We had a team of a little over 30 staff, and I love being an advocate for them. I love being their support system. And I love leading a good team that uh, came to me for, for support and for help. My favorite family tradition is one that my family's done for the last 20 years. Every time around Christmas, we go up into the Cascade Mountains into a small town called Leavenworth. It's a small Bavarian village that has great culture, has a lot of snow. We've made a lot of memories sledding, eating, drinking a lot of hot chocolate and four years ago is where I proposed to my wife. If I had a job outside of healthcare, I would choose to farm. Growing up in Mattawa, I farmed from the time I was eight years old until I was 23. I, I love being able to, to work the land, to be able to plant seeds, water the, water the fields, and harvest the crops. There's a lot of, there's a big sense of accomplishment, and it's very rewarding to know that the fruits of my labor bless the lives of others. Hey y'all, my name's Darby Davenport. I am originally from Charleston, South Carolina, and at UAB I'm doing a dual master's in health administration and health informatics. My favorite moment in healthcare thus far occurred this past summer at the University of Chicago Medicine. Unfortunately, there were a few adverse patient reactions that occurred as a result of faulty blood transfusions. I was tasked with heading up one of the blood transfusion safety teams, and I had the opportunity to speak with countless stakeholders to fully understand the full process for blood transfusions at the hospital. I ended up creating a workflow visualization tool that has since been sent to thousands of people at the hospital and is going to be used for a Kaizen event to hopefully mitigate future risks in blood transfusions at UChicago. My dream job outside of healthcare would be to work in an aquarium as a mermaid. I saw this when I was a kid and saw that mermaids could dive in the fish tanks and wave to the visitors and I thought this was awesome. However, if life under the sea doesn't suit me well, I would love to open a bakery near a hospital. If I was a talk show host and I could bring anyone onto my show for the first time, dead or alive, I would invite Lorenzo de' Medici. The Medici family are the most powerful and prestigious family in Italy. They are known to be the bankers of Florence as well as the bankers to the papal state from time to time. They ruled for over 300 years and the reason why I would love to invite Lorenzo de' Medici is that he was a benefactor to artists such as Botticelli, Da Vinci, Michelangelo, and they helped create some of the first hospitals in Florence. They had a passion for helping the Florentine citizens regardless of socioeconomic status and they ultimately helped to launch the Renaissance. So I'd love to talk to him and learn more about what that experience is like. My name is Christopher Dodson. I'm from Alexandria, Louisiana. My proudest moment in healthcare happened this summer in my internship with UAB Medicine. I had the privilege of sitting down with 31 nurses who are working on COVID specific units and learn how we can better improve their work environment and make them feel incredibly valued for all the hard work they're doing for our community. If I were a talk show host, my first guest would be James Dyson. I feel like there's so much to learn from him about pursuit of a goal and perseverance after he spent 15 years and over 5,000 prototypes working on a product he believed would change the world. If I were not working in healthcare, I would use my background in engineering to help athletes maximize their sports performance. My name is John Fadmiroye, and I am a dual degree health administration and health informatics student. I grew up in Houston, Texas, and for the first time moved out last year to come to Birmingham to attend UAB. What makes me unique is that I was born and spent a small part of my childhood in Lakes, Nigeria. I was able to experience the Nigerian healthcare system, although not as a patient, but as a supporter for fa family and friends. Now, living here in the United States, 
I can see the differences in our both countries, values, and delivers healthcare services. My favorite tradition is Christmas and end of the year celebration. At that moment, I like to spend time with family, friends, and very close relatives. We usually like to invite everyone over for a large gathering to celebrate the transition into the new year. My passion outside of healthcare is music. I grew up playing the drums, trombone, bass guitar, sang on my church's choir, and recently created a podcast mixing different songs from my favorite artists. If I can work a job, any job outside of healthcare, it would be as a music director or producer. My name is Walter Fanning, and I am from Birmingham, Alabama. One of my proudest moments thus far was doing my plug as a phlebotomy technician. A patient adamantly denied labs as she was facing critical heart conditions, causing her to code sporadically. However, I was able to approach her with empathy, passion, and motivation to inform her of the importance of lab procedure. Because without it, physicians will have difficulties actually treating her illness. I believe it is important to learn a second language because there are cultural and language barriers that prevent patients from receiving optimal care, which is why I'm equally learning additional languages beginning with Spanish. Resiliency has been a consistent theme in my life, which began after the tragic loss of my father due to an on-job accident. I often compare myself to the fictional character Neville Longbottom from the Harry Potter series because of his humble yet inspirational personality. Additionally, Neville was forced to navigate life without parental support, but was confident in his efforts, even ultimately winning a large challenge at the end of his story. My name is Jermon Glass, and I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, known for his Southern hospitality and big city lights. An experience that makes me unique is, before becoming part of the MSHA program, I was a collegiate student athlete playing football at Sanford University. For my junior and senior year, I was a team captain, balancing both academics and athletics. I learned the value of teamwork, a strong work ethic, and the growth that comes from being coachable. Out of all fictional characters I've encountered, the one that relates most to me would be Batman. Batman is a human whose personal drive transforms him into becoming a symbol of hope for his community as he steps up to fight crime. Much like Batman, I would like to use my personal drive to provide the best care to all patients, giving them the opportunity to reach their full health potential. If I could work any job outside of healthcare, it would be being a mechanical engineer at SpaceX. Ever since a child, I always enjoyed building things from the ground up, taking things apart, putting them back together. Being very detail oriented, I've always enjoyed understanding how things work together. The profession of engineering always encompasses the innovation developing to reach places that have never been explored. I'm Callan Hoover and I'm from Juneau, Alaska. Growing up, I was a tri-sport athlete, which is where I got my fundamentals for teamwork and compassion. Compassion for others and for the people I work with is a fundamental belief to the healthcare leader I'm going to be in the future. If I were a talk show host, my first guest, dead or alive, would be Ted Kennedy. I chose Ted Kennedy because I read a book called Health Reform in my undergraduate studies, and it was really fundamental, and he was fundamental into creating the Affordable Care Act. He unfortunately died in 2009, and the bill was passed into law in 2010. And so I would just want to ask him kind of what he thinks of the current state and how that was really his life mission and why um, he was really the champion for all of it. In my second career, I want to work for an animal shelter in some capacity. I've always had a huge passion for animals and I've volunteered there for years. Um, and I just truly think that they're some of the most vulnerable little critters in our society. Similar to children and elderly people, they truly need more people to advocate for them. And I want to do that. Howdy y'all, my name is Brianna Houston and I am from the great city of Dallas, Texas. My proudest moment in healthcare actually happened recently. As a dual health administration and public health student, I'm always looking for ways to combine the two. And this summer through my virtual internship with Hartford Healthcare, I was able to develop COVID-19 messaging strategies for Hartford's most vulnerable population. If I were a talk show host, my first guest would be former First Lady Michelle Obama. Be beyond her political affiliation, I really truly believe that Mrs. Obama embodies black female excellence, so I would really be interested in talking to her about her career before she moved to Washington, D.C., and I would be particularly interested in learning about her time spent as an executive director at her local hospital. My favorite holiday of all time is Christmas. And the week before Christmas, for as long as I can remember, my mom um, has gathered my cousins and I to 
bake and decorate Christmas cookies for Santa. And although we're so much older now, we don't even really eat the Christmas cookies, the tradition is still very near and dear to my heart because it speaks to the importance of family. Hello, my name is Aaron Jackson. I am from Las Vegas, Nevada. One of the things that makes me unique as an applicant during the fellowship process is my experience in understanding how healthcare operates across a wide spectrum. Um, during my time throughout my undergrad and graduate school, I've had experience working in an academic medical center, an integrated health system, and a statewide health department. And this has given me experience and knowledge and understanding how Healthcare not only just functions within the walls of the hospital, but also extends into the community and extends into different environments, both physically, um, socioeconomically, and environmentally as well. So if I was a talk show host, I would invite Arya Stark from Game of Thrones to be on my guest. The one of the reasons I want to know and I want to talk to Arya Stark is during the episode where she kills the Night King, I'd be really interested on how she got to the point where she infiltrated the White Walkers. There was a point where she was in the castle and then the next moment she was just jumping out of the air and I'd really like to know how that came to pass. If I had to choose one profession to work if I wasn't inside healthcare, I definitely think I would go and become a teacher. My mom is a teacher and she was a teacher my whole life and I just see the impact that she was able to have on a lot of different kids and a lot of different people. And one of the reasons I got into healthcare is because I wanted a big macro level impact on different communities and different um, kids and different families. So. I see teaching as a great opportunity to influence individuals and communities in the right way and to be a positive influence in my community. Hello, my name is Osher Kay and I'm from Aurora, Colorado on the plains in the shadow of the Rockies. I believe that my background in psychology with master's research in cultural psychology and collaboration lend a unique perspective to a leadership team on human behavior and motivating collaboration in the healthcare setting. The fictional character I relate to most is Velma from Scooby-Doo. Velma doesn't need to be in the spotlight to make an impact on her team. She's constantly working on plans to catch the bad guy. She overcomes obstacles that the mystery crew encounters, and she makes sure that everybody on the team, even Shaggy and Scooby, are utilized their best abilities. I find that this is the role that I like to take into a team, and I've sometimes been called the Velma of our group on teams that I've been on. The holiday that most resonates with me is the weekly Jewish celebration of Shabbat, the Sabbath. Growing up with a father as a rabbi, this was an important weekly touch point for my family to connect and reflect on the past week. And I brought it to my found family here at UAB, last year inviting small groups of MSHA peers to celebrate a Shabbat dinner at my home, to reflect on the past week, share my traditions and culture with them, hear about their traditions, and to enjoy a home-cooked meal. My name is Mark Lanoff. I'm originally from McLean, Virginia, a suburb of Washington, D.C. I think my proudest moment in healthcare came about when I was serving as a project manager over a rural health clinic in the Mississippi Delta. A patient presented to our clinic with an unclean colostomy bag. He had recently been shot by a stray bullet. He was an older man, mute, kind, and gentle. I came to find out that this man's family, who was ultimately responsible for his care and claimed him as a dependent, had abandoned him. Overseeing quality at our clinic, I took this man's case to heart. I ensured that he was connected with a social worker, and made a referral to a specialist who took his insurance. I think out of all the experiences I've had this far and moving forward, this will remain one of my proudest moments in healthcare. I think if I could have any other job outside of healthcare, uh, it's a really tough question, but I really admire wealth management and investments because of my grandfather, who was the grandson of a Russian cobbler who ended up creating his own mutual fund. But my wife and I, uh, I think, would operate a mean French bakery. One of my fondest family memories is traveling up to New York City to visit my grandmother for Thanksgiving. We do this almost every year. She's from New York, hasn't lived anywhere else, doesn't even have a driver's license, so it's really special for us to all gather there. I love exploring the city, um, visiting museums and just walking aimlessly around around town. Hi, my name is Amber Lucky and I'm from York, Alabama, a small rural town near Livingston, Alabama. My proudest moment in healthcare happened during my time as a department manager at Rush Hospital. During this time, I scheduled a meeting with my administrator because I thought it was necessary to voice why I felt my staff deserved a raise. Within a few days, that raise was approved. She and others thanked me for being a true advocate. My favorite holiday is Christmas. 
On the morning of Christmas, my family and I always have a Christmas breakfast, and I just really enjoy this time to fellowship with everyone and enjoy great food together. If I could work any job outside of healthcare, I would own my own boutique where I design the merchandise and hand through vintage items. I personally enjoy the opportunity helping others find their personal style. My name is Adrian Malone and I'm originally from South Haven, Mississippi and is right next to Memphis, Tennessee. Something that is unique about me is my compassion and also my ability to relate to anybody that I meet. So an interesting tradition for me is Sunday dinners uh, with my grandparents and my close family. So every Sunday prior to COVID, we used to just get together and mingle and just talk about our lives together. So if I had an opportunity to pick another job um, outside of healthcare, it would be a sports commentator. And this comes from just my love and passion of sports and my background in sports. My name is Gillian Mangan. I am from a small town in Florida, Ocala, Florida, 45 minutes from Gainesville, which is home to the University of Florida. I would say my proudest moment in healthcare is kind of continually evolving. Um, it's been my capacity to take my chronic condition uh, that I was diagnosed with at 15 years old into my calling and career in healthcare administration. I was diagnosed with epilepsy when I was 15, and from there I've just been trying to channel this empathy that I gained as a patient into this career field and um, my time as administrative fellow. If I were a late night talk show host, I would bring Jane Austen back to life and have her as my first guest on the television series, mainly because she, I would love for her to see the impact that she made on modern literature. Uh, she was really highly underappreciated during her time, and I would also love for her to see just how big of an impact she made on young readers like myself, as well as ask her a few questions on her unfinished book. The fictional character I relate the most to is Leslie Nope from the television show Parks and Recreation. She really emulates the kind of leadership style that I try to emulate, which is the servant-based leader. She tries to amplify the voice of the people around her as well as highlighting their values and knowing that she will grow as long as the people around her grow. My name is Jason Marvin. I was born and raised in Birmingham, Alabama. For me, the most proud moment I've had in healthcare so far was my work with Forward and Faith nonprofit. For me, uh, it was fantastic to see how we started from the bottom. We were driving posts uh, for this huge equine ranch for people with disabilities. And I think the moment I realized that I was you know, probably as proud as I was probably going to get was when we had a huge volunteer day and had over 150 people helping with the organization that we helped to bring up from nothing. And seeing all those people really buy in and come together to help us with our mission was absolutely the most satisfying achievement I've seen so far. So if I was a late night talk show host and I could bring back anyone, anyone who's ever existed, anybody in existence now, and just have a sit down talk with them for a brief moment, I would definitely bring back Teddy Roosevelt. For me, one of the absolute most influential leaders, his style of leadership is unlike anybody else in history in my opinion. He once said that anything in life worth having or worth doing is worth a great amount of difficulty pain and effort, and I respect that and want to live my life in that fashion. If I could work any job outside of healthcare, I would definitely get together with my family who's full of chemical engineers, marketing majors, and build our own brewery. For me, the idea of starting my own business is an absolute dream, and getting my family involved to start something from the bottom and see it grow is definitely a huge priority and something that I want to do uh, at the later stages of my life once I get done with healthcare. My name is Christopher Mosley. I've lived in various places, but Birmingham, Alabama is home. As a former hematology, oncology, student research intern, a science educator of four years, and now an MSHA MBA student here at UAB, I have a unique appreciation for the integration of clinical care, education, and research practices. If I were a late night talk show host, one of my first guests would be Bernard Tyson. As the former CEO and chairman of Kaiser Permanente, Mr. Tyson is highly regarded as one of the most influential healthcare leaders. However, it is not his accolades that draw me to him. It is this ability to transcend boundaries, to serve as an ambassador for his community, and be the forward-thinking visionary required of our future healthcare leaders. Ever since I was a child, I've had a weird obsession with Batman. He does not possess any supernatural powers, but chose to use the tragic loss of his parents to fight against battles of injustice within the Gotham community. Although I have not suffered the loss of a parent, I see my own challenges and threats to my community as opportunities. 
My name is Sarah Newburn. I'm originally from Little Rock, Arkansas, where my family owns a food truck outdoor restaurant. What's unique about me in healthcare is I have a background in urban studies and community health, so I have a really deep understanding of the way a city and a community is designed and how that may impact a person's overall health as well as their healthcare access. One of my favorite holidays is Thanksgiving. This is the time where I'm with my immediate family as well as my extended family, and each year we do something really fun and exciting. This past year we did a murder mystery party where we all dressed up and acted out in different characters and solved the murder and next year we'll do something like a scavenger hunt. If I wasn't in healthcare, my job would be a travel agent. Um, I really love to travel, experience new places, meet new people, and really immerse myself in different cultures. Um, as a travel agent, I think I would be able to do this while also providing this experience for other people. My name is Dominique Kieran Patel, and I am from Austin, Texas, a true Austinite and a rare breed. My proudest moment in healthcare was through an internship I completed at Texas Health Presbyterian Dallas, THD, in which I was able to facilitate a project in which we provided a Christmas for employees and their families. Through this, I learned that patients come second. We have to take care of our employees in order for them to give back and successfully take care of our patients. And this is a lesson I hope to carry with me throughout the rest of my career. What makes me a unique applicant is my ability to be empathetic, which I believe this project is a great example of. If I was a late night talk show host, the first person I would invite would be Indra Nui, former CEO of PepsiCo. As a retiree, she's focusing on unraveling unconscious bias surrounding the workforce, and she's trying to empower women. She speaks about the obstacles she faced as a woman in color in business, and that is why I would want her to be the first person. Also, so she would be able to facilitate and have open conversations with future guests like Michelle Obama that I would be able to have on my show. My favorite holiday is Thanksgiving because it is the one time of the year with no excuses that I get to spend with my dad's side of the family. Thanksgiving was my dad's favorite holiday, so it's a way for me to feel his presence, but also be thankful for the people that I am surrounded by, regardless of the absence I may feel in any other day. Hello, my name is Derek Pickett, and I'm from Huntsville, Alabama. I believe some of the things that make me unique are my confidence, my perseverance, and my optimism. Uh, the last thing that my mother said to me was that everything is gonna be all right, and I've always lived by those words ever since. My favorite holiday tradition growing up was visiting my grandmother's house for Christmas. Uh, she made the best food, you always had great gifts, and the absolute best red velvet cake I've ever had. If I wasn't in healthcare, I'd find some way to be a motivational speaker. I've always admired being able to empower people and uplift them in a positive manner. It's right up my alley and definitely in, in my beliefs. I'm Joseph Schoeniker, and I'm from Thibodeau, Louisiana, in the Bayou region, about an hour south outside New Orleans. My proudest moment or moments would actually not include any of my recent healthcare experience, but rather my time spent in Haiti doing humanitarian aid work there, helping to build a school. This passion to help and serve others is what has driven me to pursue healthcare administration as a career. If I could name any fictional character that I relate to, it would be Obi-Wan Kenobi from Star Wars. A legendary Jedi master, mentor, and teacher Obi-Wan had a very caring and giving personality, always willing to help those who needed it. And finally, my favorite tradition or holiday season would have to be Christmas time. Growing up in South Louisiana, I always loved spending time with friends and family. Plus, everyone seems to have an additional sense of love and peace during the holiday season. I'm Alicia Singh, I'm originally from Wisconsin and I'm a huge Green Bay Packer fan. One quality trait that I believe is unique about me is how I make decisions. I believe I'm very intentional on how I make decisions. I ensure that I am not making an emotional based decision, a biased decision, and I also really like to take a step back, observe and listen and really see all angles before I make that decision. Um, and I believe the part that is unique about that is how I apply that to both my personal and professional life. My favorite holiday Holiday is Halloween, mainly because I like all the festivities that are associated with Halloween. It's fall time, football, pumpkin patches, everything associated with that, and it just kicks off the beginning of all the holidays before the end of the year. If I had to choose a job outside of healthcare, I would choose to be an interior designer. I love decorating, I'm extremely detail oriented, and I like real estate, so I kind of feel like that goes all hand in hand, um, and that's something I could really see myself enjoying. 
my name is Cole Stockton. I'm from Auburn, Alabama, and as you all know, a big Auburn University is right there in town, and uh, college sports is a huge staple there, especially college football and now college basketball. So a unique thing about me is that I played college basketball at Auburn University. Uh, coming out of high school, it was a dream of mine to play Division I basketball, but I didn't receive any offers. So I really wanted to improve my skill set, so I went to junior college at Shelton State Community College and improved my skill sets, and I was able to walk on at Auburn University and play for Bruce Pearl. My favorite holiday is Christmas. Many of my family live outside of Alabama, so this is a great way for us to come together and cherish one another and catch up. Another thing is my mom is a great cook, and I really enjoy having her broccoli cheese casserole. If I were to have a job outside of healthcare, I would be a park ranger. But from a young age, I was in the Boy Scouts, and we participated in many conservation efforts, and we were really taught to respect the environment. I think it would also be really cool to, to hike every day and be out in nature. My name is Walker Tier, and I'm from Jackson, Tennessee. My proudest moment in healthcare was working for UAB's Human Resources last year. I had the opportunity to work for a career path project. Essentially, what this did is we gathered data from current employees and tracked their progress throughout the organization over five to 10 years. With this, we geared it at entry-level positions such as high school graduates. We were able to show that over five to 10 years, you have substantial financial growth and opportunities for promotions within your department. So one of my favorite things to do around Christmas is a tradition that me and my two older brothers have always done. Um, we'll line up at the top of the stairs, and when Dad says go, we will sprint down to the Christmas tree, knocking each other over. I think it's just to see who can get there first. Something that I like to do outside of work is woodworking projects. It's something that I've always enjoyed doing as a kid, just working with my hands and seeing the job get done. But I also really love to play golf a lot. So what I'm thinking is if I ever find myself outside of healthcare, I'll have to combine the two and become the nation's best mini golf course construction builder. Hi, my name is Kate Trankina and I grew up here in Birmingham, Alabama. Something unique about me is I love to row. I was a varsity rower during my undergraduate and had the opportunity to row on a women's team in Washington, DC. Some of my favorite memories are watching the sunrise behind the Washington Monument during our morning rows. My favorite family tradition is that my mom has always made advent calendars for my brother and I, and this didn't stop even when we went to college. After college, she started to send us ornaments to open every day, and I've made a new tradition wherever I live to add an ornament to my tree every day. If I could have another job outside of healthcare, I think it would likely be in education. Education was such a huge impact on my life, and if I hadn't had my economics teacher in high school, I'm not sure what educational path I would have taken. I would love to have the opportunity to have that impact on other students. Hi, my name is Julia Alton Tebbs, and I am originally from Harvest, Alabama, which is outside of Huntsville. So what makes me unique? I actually lived and worked in Prague in the Czech Republic for a summer, working for a Czech company where everyone spoke Czech, there was a language barrier and cultural differences, and I really felt vulnerable. But I feel like that experience will make me a better healthcare leader as I deal with patients and families from many different backgrounds and cultural beliefs, and I can have empathy and an open mind with them. If I were a late night talk show host, I would invite Jenny Britton Bauer of Jenny's Splendid Ice Cream as my first guest. Um, I love ice cream, it makes me happy, and Jenny just exudes positivity herself, but her story is also very inspiring. She overcame a lot of obstacles to get where she is today, and when she first started, you know, everyone was giving her tips on how to make ice cream, this is the correct way to make ice cream, and she said, I want to do it differently, and now she's all over the country, and I really admire her. If I had a job outside of healthcare, it would be working for the Humane Society. Um, if you know me, you know that I'm really passionate about the mission of the Humane Society. I'm on the junior board, I volunteer on the weekends, and I even have foster animals in my home. My most recent foster was Eve, a dog that had been chained up her whole life, and I really bonded with her. Um, I truly believe that we can um, teach compassion through animals, and I think like healthcare, there would be a lot of difficult stories, but it would also be very rewarding. Hi, my name is Lauren White. I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and it's special to me because the culture there is just all about family and all about making traditions last. What makes me unique is that I've been a caregiver for my little brother for about 16 years now, up until I moved to Birmingham. He has a rare chromosomal deletion, which makes him a very interesting case to work with for a lot of doctors and a lot of other therapies and um, specialties. And so over the years, I've been able to 
help take care of him and help mold that patient experience for him and also stand up and be an advocate for him within the healthcare system. One of my favorite traditions is going to LSU football games every year. It's something that my family has always done and going to LSU for four years, I was able to go every single year that I was there and it was just a lot of fun and I had a, a great time with all of my friends. If I had to choose a job that wasn't in healthcare, I'd want to be a track coach. I really loved running track in high school and I really enjoy the camaraderie of a team and being able to build people up and push them to do their best. My name is Eric Williams Jr. My hometown is Birmingham, Alabama. What makes me authentic is my ability to be creative, collaborative, and honest. As a future leader in healthcare, I'm hungry to learn how health services work together to meet the demands of patients and providers. As a type 1 diabetic, having first-hand experience as a patient leverages my ability to be an advocate for healthcare. I am interested in making feasible technology accessible to any user. If I were to have a guest on my talk show, it would be Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant was a fearless leader who committed to his goals. Not only was he committed to developing himself, he was also committed to developing others as well. Kobe Bryant is a contributor to the leader that I am today. My goals I set for myself is to be a reflection of my heart. I aspire to be a generational trendsetter and a disruptor in healthcare. <laughs>